All best of breeds in the gun dog group, please come to the collecting ring now, please. All best of breeds in the gun dog group to the collecting ring now at the bottom one B.
Harpies in the Dundalk group go to ring 23 for pre-judging. That's all puppies in the Dundalk group to ring 23 for pre-judging. Thank you. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the group judging at Windsor. Today it's the Gundog group. Our judge is Mrs. Jill Simpson. Jill had her first dog in 1979 and it was a Weimaraner and that was when she also caught the showing bug. Her first set of CCs was awarded at Merseyside Pandog in the late 1980s under her Cerebra Pathics. She's made up 13 food champions, which is the highest of any kennel in the breed. She's also had success in Sussex Spaniels, German Short-Haired Pointers, Labradors, and Hungarian Vizslas. And this is the third occasion that she's actually judged the hand group. So please give her a walk. The gun dog group, apologies. It's wishful thinking, I was hoping it's Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Please give her a warm Windsor welcome as she's escorted into the ring by our chairman, Mr. Gerald King. And first into the ring is the Bracco Italiano, followed by the Brittany, the English setter, the German long-haired pointer, the German short-haired pointer, the German wire-haired pointer, the Gordon setter, the Hungarian Vizsla, the Hungarian wire-haired Vizsla, the Irish red and white setter, the Irish setter, the Italian Spigoni, the Legato Romagnolo, the large Münzlander, the pointer, the Retriever Chesapeake Bay, the Retriever Flatcoat, the Retriever Golden, the Retriever Labrador, the Retriever Nova Scotia Duck Tolling, the Spaniel American Cocker, followed by the Spaniel Clumber, Spaniel Cocker, the Spaniel English Springer, 
Spaniel Field, Spaniel Irish Water, Spaniel Sussex, and the Spanish Welsh Springer. The Spanish Water Dog, the Vimeraner, and from the AV Imported Register breeds the Brack Dauvergne. And the first dog to be examined is the Bracco Italiano, judged today by Mr. G. Hargreaves. From an entry of 51, he selected the dog number 3307 as his best of breed. Bracco Italiano translates simply as Italian Hound, and it's the oldest pointing breed in Europe, known as far back as the days of Pliny. Bred by the noble families of Medici and Gonzaga, its popularity increased exponentially in the 16th century when hunting with firearms began. The breed made its appearance in the UK in 1989, the Bracco Italiano. Number 3307, the Bracco Italiano. Now we have the Brittany. Mrs. P. Rush was the judge today, and from an entry of 17, the dog, number 3345, was selected as the best of breed. Although the breed was at one time called the Brittany Spaniel, it's not a Spaniel. It's one of the hunt, point, and retrieve breeds, and is used primarily for bird hunting. Coming as it does from the northwest of France, it's not surprising that it's believed to share its ancestry with that of the Welsh Springer Spaniel, the Brittany. Number 3345, the Brittany. Now we have the English setter. Mr. R. McMaster was the judge today, and from an entry of 68, he selected the bitch, number 3411, as his best of breed. One of the oldest gun dog breeds, the English setter, developed over several centuries and resulted in one of the most glamorous of the setter breeds we know today. Most setter breeds were kept by noble families who kept them in all their estates and gave their names to some of the strains. The English setter.
Number 3411, the English setter. Now we have the German long haired pointer. Mrs. J. Richards was the breed judge, and from an entry of six, she selected the bitch number 3422 as her best of breed. The German long haired pointer is a relatively new kid on the block. Although it shares a long heritage with its smaller German cousins, the GSP and the GWP, having first been shown in Frankfurt in 1878. It did not, however, receive recognition from the Kennel Club until 1997, the German long-haired pointer. Number 3422, the German long haired pointer. Now we have the German short haired pointer. Mrs. M. Hayes was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 62, she selected the bitch, number 3459, as her best of breed. The German short haired pointer was the first of the HPR breeds to arrive in the UK after the Second World War. It's probably the most successful in both working aspects and show scene and was developed in its native country as a do-it-all hunting dog par excellence. The German short-haired pointer. Number 3459, the German short haired pointer. Now we have the German wire haired pointer. Mrs. N. Ellis was the breed judge, and from an entry of 20, the dog, number 3495, was chosen as the best of breed. The German wire haired pointer is a larger, more rugged version of the German short haired pointer. The breeding of wire-coated pointing dogs became a mania among German sportsmen in the early 1800s. From the very beginning, its coat was deemed to be of the utmost importance, the German wire-haired pointer. Number 3495, the German wire haired pointer. Now we have the first of the setters, the Gordon setter. Mrs. C. McLeod was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 55, she chose the dog, number 3527, as her best of breed. The Gordon setter originally hails from the estates of the Dukes of Gordon near Fockerburs and the River Spey in Scotland, where the kennel of black and tan setters was established to hunt the various game birds that were raised there. One of the dukes was renowned for his Scottish deerhounds, the Gordon Setter.
Number 3527, the Gordon Setter. Now we have the Hungarian Vizsla. Mrs. I. Whiting was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 107, she selected the dog, number 3611, as her best of breed. The Vizsla is be believed to have been descended from the Transylvanian Hound and the Turkish Yellow Dog. They were used for falconry on the plains of Hungary as early as the 14th century. The breed almost disappeared as a result of the Second World War and only survived as a result of Hungarian refugees who took their dogs with them when they fled the country. The Hungarian Vizsla. Number 3611, the Hungarian Vizsla. Now we have the Hungarian wire-haired Vizsla. Mrs. I. Whiting was also the breed judge here, and from an entry of 35, she chose the bitch, number 3636, as her best of breed. The Hungarian wire-haired Vizsla is a completely separate breed from its cousin. It was developed in the 1930s with the aim of producing a dog that combined the colour of the Vizsla with a heavier coat and a more substantial frame which was capable of working in cold weather and retrieving from icy water. The Hungarian wire-haired Vizsla. Number 3636, the Hungarian wire-haired Vizsla. Now we have the Irish red and white setter. Mr. R. McMaster was the judge, and from an entry of 19, his best of breed is the dog, number 3667. The Irish red and white setter predates the Irish setter. Before the invention of gunpowder, nets were used to trap birds which were located by dogs and the breed was preferred over others as it was easy to spot when working at a distance. The breed was also used in falconry in earlier times. The Irish Red and White Setter. Can I have your attention please, this is the last call for all best puppies in the gun dog breed to go straight to ring number 23 where pre-judging of the puppy group is being done. Please go to the ring 23 immediately if you're a gun dog puppy winner. Number 3667, the Irish Red and White Centre. Now we have the Irish Centre. Mr. T. Pearson was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 111, he selected the bitch, number 3767, as best of breed. The Irish Centre is known as the Sotar Rua. Irish for red setter. It increased in popularity to the detriment of the red and white setter. 
The first standard was approved in Ireland in 1886, and it was based on a 100-point scale, and apart from dropping the points, has largely remained unchanged in most of the countries where the breed is currently recognised. The Irish Setter. Number 3767, the Irish Setter. Now we have the Italian Spinoni. Mrs. C. Sharp was the judge today, and from an entry of 36, she selected the bitch, number 39, I beg your pardon, 3797, as her best of breed. It's almost impossible to determine the origins of this breed. Rough-haired, pointer-type dogs were common on the Italian peninsula since the Renaissance. The modern-day Spinoni comes from Piedmont in northwest Italy and was the most important hunting breed in the region. It arrived in the UK in 1981, the Italian Spinoni. Number 3797, the Italian Spinone. Now we have the Legato Romagnolo. Mrs. J. Iington was the breed judge, and from an entry of 36 today, she shows the dog number 3817 as her best of breed. The Legato is described as the Italian equivalent of the Irish Water Spaniel. This is by an Italian expert on the breed, as they are perfect swimmers with webbing between their toes and were used as duck hunters. It's the only purebred dog to be officially recognised as a specialist truffle searcher, the Legato Romagnolo. Number 3817, the Legato Romagnolo. <laughs> Next, we have the large Munsterlander. Mrs. K. Moores was the breed judge, and she had an entry of 32 today but I'm afraid I don't have the number of this dog. the large Munsterlander. 
number 3876. Which is a bit. Now, the pointer. David Bell was the brief judge today, and from an entry of 79, he selected the bitch, number 3909, as his best of breed. The pointer is believed to be a descendant of the old Spanish pointer, brought by soldiers returning from Spain at the beginning of the 18th century. Its point is always spectacular in a motionless pose, its sense of smell exceptional. The pointer is the symbol of Westminster Kennel Club, the American equivalent of our crafts. The pointer. Now we have the retriever Chesapeake Bay. Mrs. Kate Cathy Moores was the judge today and from an entry of 22, she selected the dog number 3948 as her best of breed. This retriever is an ideal candidate for a documentary. Two dogs, probably Newfoundlands, swim ashore from a, a shipwreck in Maryland in the USA and are subsequently mated to local retriever type dogs and magically a new breed is created. This is a duck dog who performs best in cold water and thanks to his oily coat, which is extremely thick, it dries out in next to no time. The retriever, Chesapeake Bay. Number 3948, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Now we have the Retriever Curly Coated. Frank Kane was the judge today, and from an entry of 58, he selected as his best of breed number 4005. It's a dog. The curly coat is the tallest of the retrievers. Whilst it may appear leggy, it's slightly longer than its tail. It was one of the first two recognized retriever breeds, the other being the wavy coated, now known as the flat coated retriever. The retriever curly coated. Four, 4,005, the Curly Coat Retriever. Now we have the Retriever Flat Coat. Ms. G. Williams was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 95, she selected the bitch, number 4069, as her best of breed. Originally called the Wavy Coated Retriever, the breed was popular on the large shooting estates in the late 19th century and was also known as the gamekeeper's dog. The founder of the kennel club, Mr. C. Wallace Avelyn Shirley, helped stabilize breed type. The retriever, flat coated.
number 4069, the flat coated retriever. Now we have the Retriever Golden. Breed judges today were Mrs. S. Goodwin and Mr. B. Carter. And from a large entry of 181, the bitch was eventually selected as the best of breed, number 4175. The Golden Retriever has its origins in Scotland, thanks to the First Lord Tweedmouth. The breed was first recognised as a flat coat until the present name was adopted in 1920. One of the most popular companion dogs worldwide, the Retriever Golden. Number 4175, the Golden Retriever. Finally, next, the Retriever Labrador. Mr. Jay Soge was the judge today, and yet again from another large entry of 160, selected the dog, number 4317, as his best of breed. The Labrador was developed from imported Canadian fishing dogs from the colony of Newfoundland's Labrador region. Known not only for its prowess for retrieving game, the breed is used extensively as a guide dog and has also been used in the detection of drugs and arms. The Retriever Labrador. Number 4317, the Labrador Retriever. Now we have the Retriever Nova Scotia Duck Tolling. Frank Kane was the judge of this breed, and from an entry of 116, he selected the dog, number 4378, as his best of breed. This was developed in Little River Harbour in Nova Scotia at the beginning of the 19th century. It was known as the Little River Duck Dog. Tollers are named for their ability to lure ducks when swimming in the water, which were attracted to the dogs themselves and causes the ducks then to come closer. The Retriever Nova Scotia Duck Toller. Number 4378, the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Now we come to the first of the Spaniels. This is the Spaniel American Cocker. Mr. D. Vincent was the judge today, and from an entry of 52, he selected number 4476, a bitch, as his best of breed. The American Cocker traces its roots back to the Cocker Spaniels, which were taken to the United States of America. Their aim was to flush and retrieve woodcock and quail. The Kennel Club recognized as a separate type to the Cocker only in 1970. Perhaps the most famous, famous example of this breed is Lady in the Disney, Disney animated film, Lady and the Tramp. This is the Spaniel American Cocker. Number 4476, the American Cocker Spaniel. Now we have the Spaniel Clumber. 
Mrs. J. Richards was the breed judge today and from an entry of 24, her best of breed was the dog number 4494. The Clumber arrived in the United Kingdom from France, courtesy of the Duke of Newcastle, and were bred at his family home of Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire, overseen by his gamekeeper, William Mansell. Heavier than other types, he works at a more leisurely pace. Yet another breed in the vulnerable breeds category, the Spaniel Clumber. Number 4494, the Clumber Spaniel. On the table now, we have the Spaniel Cocker. Miss S. Whiting was the breed judge, and from an entry of 105, she selected number 4603, the Bitch, as her best of breed. The Cocker is the most popular of the Spaniel family and the third most popular breed in the United Kingdom. Interestingly, the only requirement to be categorised as a Cocker Spaniel prior to the 1870s was the need to weigh in at less than 25 pounds. In 1892, the breed was recognised as a separate one by the Kennel Club, the Spaniel Cocker. Number 4603, the Cocker Spaniel. Next, we have the Spaniel English Springer. Mr. E. Lockett was the breed judge, and from an entry of 57, he chose the bitch, number 4663, as his best of breed. The English Springer is the highest on the leg of all Spaniels and is a traditional dog for the rough shooter. Once known as a Norfolk Spaniel, the Duke of Norfolk is credited with playing a significant role in the development of the breed. Springer is the word used to spring or flush birds into the air. The Spaniel English Springer. Number 4663, the English Springer Spaniel. Now we have the Spaniel Field. Mr. D. Bennett was the breed judge, and from an entry of 33, the bitch, number 4666, was chosen as the best of breed. The field is similar to the cocker, although longer in the body with shorter legs. The breed was developed in the late 19th century by crossing the Cocker with the Sussex Spaniel. The breed standard emphasises the fact that the breed is not suitable for city life, the Spaniel field. Number 4666, the Field Spaniel.
Now we have the Spaniel Irish Walter. Mr. E. Lockett was the great judge, and from an entry of 29, chose the bitch number 4700 as his best of breed. The Irish Water Spaniel is believed to be a combination of poodle and setter bloodlines, and that was created in the 1830s. Justin McCarthy from Dublin is credited. Number 4700, the Irish Water Spaniel. Next we have the Spaniel Sussex. Cathy Moores was the breed judge and from an entry of 32 selected the dog number 4740 as her best of breed. The Sussex is as old and similar in appearance as the Clumber. It can be traced back to 1795 and was bred specifically to inherit the barking ability or giving tongue, lacking in other spaniels, to alert the hunter on his quarry. It was one of the first breeds to be recognized by the Kennel Club in 1872, the Spaniel Sussex. Number 4740, Sussex Spaniel. Now we have the Spaniel Welsh Springer. Mr G Campbell was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 66, he chose the bitch, number 4772, as his best of breed. Whilst there is obviously a family likeness to the English Springer, any suggestion that it's responsible for the Welsh will almost certainly be refuted. The red and white Welsh hunting dog featured in Welsh literature as far back as the Middle Ages. The Welsh Spaniel was recognized by the Kennel Club in 1902. The Spaniel Welsh Springer. Number 4772, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Now we have the Spanish Water Dog. Mrs. J. Ironton was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 28, chose the dog number 4823 as best of breed. The Spanish Water Dog was traditionally used as a herder of sheep although it is also adept at retrieving wildfowl from water. In the United States of America, the breed is classified in the herding group, our pastoral group. The FCI classifies it in group eight, the flushing and water dogs, and the kennel club regards it as a member of the gun dog group, the Spanish water dog.
Number 4823, the Spanish Water Dog. Now we have the Weimaraner. Ms. D. Trancada was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 46, chose the bitch, number 4860, as her best of breed. The Weimaraner was kept in the Weimar court in Germany in the 19th century. Grand Duke Karl August kept the breed to hunt large games such as boar, bear, and deer, sometimes referred to as the grey ghost, of the dog world because of a combination of its ghostly eye and coat colour, its stealthy hunting style is renowned. The, the Weimaraner. Four eight six zero, the vine. And finally, from the end, the imported register reads: Gun dog is the Brack Dover. Mr. R. Miller was the judge today, and from an entry of twenty-one imported register reads, he selected the dog number four eight eight nine as his best AV import. The Brack d'Auvergne is a breed originating in the mountain area of Cantal in the province of Auvergne in France. It's in the mid-south of the country. It's a pointer and a versatile gun dog, and its ancestors were the regional hunting dogs of the area. It's one of the HPR breeds, the Brack d'Auvergne. Number 4889, the Brack d'Auvergne. <coughs> Joe Simpson will now cast her eye around the group standing in the main ring before making a selection for a shortlist. Pulled out is the English setter, the German short haired pointer, the Legato Romagnolo, the pointer, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, the Clumber Spaniel, and the Cocker Spaniel. Field Spaniel and the Fine Runner. Please give everybody else a big hand as they leave in the ring, folks. Thank you. Dogs will now gate round to the top of the ring.
Joe's now going to move the dogs once round to the end of the ring. First of all, the English centre. German short tail Ponter. <laughs> the Legato Romagnolo. Pointer. Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The Clumber Spaniel. Cocker Spaniel. The English Springer Spaniel. The Field Spaniel. And finally, the Weimaraner.
We're now ready for the board, so Jill has clearly made her mind up. And the winner of the Gundog group is the English setter. Group two, the Copper Spaniel. Group three, the Clumber Spaniel. And group four, the Pointer. Thank you very much to the rest as they're leaving the ring. Thank you. Suzanne Lavelle will be presenting the trophy on behalf of Windsor Committee and representative Royal Cannon, our main sponsor, will be Ricky Fennell handing out the vouchers. Take them round now, please. The winner of the Gundog Group, the English Setter. Group two, the Cocker Spaniel. Group three, the Clumber Spaniel. And group four, the Pointer. The group winner's photograph will be taken in the main ring and the others will be photographed in the admin block, please. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Smith is judging all of the puppy groups at Windsor this year. He's already prejudged the puppies in another ring, so he'll now have the dogs come in. There are one or two that haven't yet been examined by him, so they'll lead into the ring. So please give Derek a warm welcome. He's being escorted into the ring this afternoon by our secretary, Mrs. Susie Wiles. Can I ask all veterans to go to the collecting ring now, please? All veterans to the collecting ring. First into the main ring now is the Legato Romagnolo, followed by the Pointer, and the Golden Retriever. The Bracco Italiano, the English Setter, the German Short-Tailed Pointer, the German Wire-Haired Pointer, the Gordon Setter, the Hungarian Vizsla, the Hungarian Wire-Haired Vizsla, the Irish Setter, the Italian Spinoni, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, the Curly Coat Retriever, the Labrador Retriever, the Nova Scotia Duck Touring Retriever, the American Cocker, the Cocker Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel, the Field Spaniel, the Sussex Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, the Irish Water Spaniel, the Weimaraner, and the Spanish Water Dog.
And Mr. Smith is now walking around, casting his eye over the puppies before making a selection for his shortlist. Coming out first for further consideration, the Bracco Italiano, the English Setter, the Gordon Setter, the Curly Coated Retriever, the Golden Retriever, the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, the Cocker Spaniel, the English Springer, the Irish Water Spaniel, and the Pointer. Thank you very much to rest as they're leaving the ring. Moving the puppies once more, the Bracco Italiano. The English Setter. The Gordon Centre. The Curly Coated Retriever. The Golden Retriever. Labrador Retriever, apologies. The Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel,
Delegato Romagnano. And finally, the pointer. We're now ready for the boards, so Derek clearly has made his mind up. And group one is the pointer. Group two, the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. Group three, the English Springer Spaniel. And group four, the Curly Coated Retriever. Please give the rest a big hand as they're leaving the ring. Thank you. We're now ready for Anne Lavelle presenting the trophy and the goodie bag on behalf of Windsor Committee and Ricky Fernell on behalf of Royal Cannon and one of our principal sponsors. And our president in Agore is bringing the rosettes in. Can you take them round, please? The winner of the Gundal Puppy Group, the Pointer. <laughs> group two, the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Group three, the English Springer Spaniel. And group four, the Curly Coated Retriever. The principal winner, group one, will have photograph taken in the main ring. Thank you, the others.
Can I have your attention, please? This is a, ve a very important announcement. A Jack Russell bitch was found running loose on the cricket ground. It's been caught and it's now been taken to the secretary's office. This is an important announcement for anybody who may be missing a dog. A Jack Russell bitch, a proper Jack Russell bitch, was discovered running loose on the cricket pitch and has actually been apprehended and is now in safekeeping in the secretary's office. So would the owner please make their way to the secretary's office. Thank you. Now we have the veteran group judge. Veterans should have been judged by Meg Purnell Carpenter. Sadly, since her demise, Derek Smith very kindly offered to take on board the appointment. So Derek has been judging all veteran groups at the show. He hasn't had the opportunity to judge the group yet, so they'll all be coming in and will be judged in the main ring. So please give Derek a warm welcome as is escorted in by our Chairman Gerald King, Mr. Derek Smith. First into the ring, the German shot to pointer, followed by the Gordon Setter. Otto Romagnolo, the curly, the English Springer Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, the Spanish Water Dog, and from the AV Imported Register, the Slovakian Rough Air Pointer. First dog being moved is the German shot tape pointer. Mrs. M. Hayes was the judge today and found her veteran in the dog, number 3477. Gordon Setters were judged by Mrs. C. McLeod and her veteran is the bitch, number 3529. Hungarian visuals were judged today by Mrs. I. Whiting, and she had her veteran, the dog, number 3585. Apologies, I've just been advised that this is the Hungarian Warrior Fijla, um, also judged by Mrs. I. Whiting, and the number is there for number 3659, the bitch. Italian Spinonis were judged by Mrs. C. Sharp today and she found her veteran in the ditch, 
number 3793. Legato Romagnolo were judged today by Mrs. J. Arnington, and she found her best veteran in the bitch, number 3823. Curly coated retrievers were judged today by Frank Kane and he found his best veteran in number 4014. Four zero one four is a bitch. Flat-coated retrievers were judged by Miss G. Williams today, and her veteran is the bitch, number 4045. Golden Retrievers had two judges today, Mrs. S. Goodwin and Mr. B. Carter. And the best veteran today is the bitch, number 4130. Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers were judged by Frank Kane today and he found his best veteran in the dog, number 4351.
English Springer Spaniels were judged today by Mr. E. Lockett, and he found his best veteran in the bitch, number 4663. Welsh Springer Spaniels were judged today by Mr. G. Campbell, and he found his best veteran in the dog, number 4754. Spanish water dogs today were judged by Mrs. J. Ironton, and she found her best veteran in the bitch, number 4821. AV imported registered breeds gun dogs were judged today by Mr. Ron Miller and he found his best veteran in number 4903 a bitch and she's a Slovakian Ruffier Pointer. Finally, the large Munsterlander, uh, judged today by Mrs. Kathy Moores, and she found her best veteran in, just checking, number 3850, which is a dog.
Eric's now casting his eye around the assembled group of veterans for one final time. Being pulled out for further consideration, the German short hair pointer, the Lagotto Romagnolo, the curly coated retriever, the flat coat retriever, the golden retriever, the English Springer Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, and the large Minster Lander. Please give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring. Thank you. Veterans are now going round the ring once more, round to the top. Derek's now asking for the boards to come forward, so clearly he's made his mind up. And the Gundog Veteran Group winner is the English Springer Spaniel. Group two. is the Legato Romagnolo, Group 3, the Golden Retriever, and Group 4, the Flat Coat Retriever. Please give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring. Thank you. Mrs. Anne Lavelle is presenting the trophy on behalf of Windsor and Ricky Fernell is presenting the vouchers on behalf of Royal Cannon, one of our sponsors. Please take them round to the winner of the Gun Dog Veteran Group, the English Springer Spaniel. <laughs> group 2, the Legato Romagnolo. Group 3, the Golden Retriever. And Group 4, the Flat Coat Retriever. The group winner will have photographs taken in the main ring. And thank you, the other three. On behalf of the officers and committee of Windsor, I'd like to thank those of you that have remained for your support. If you're travelling home tonight, have a safe trip home. And we hope to see you next year at Windsor again. For those of you who are staying on site, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs>